Breaking news tonight in a case that has captured national attention. A 10-year-old Ohio girl forced to travel to Indiana for an abortion. And tonight, a Columbus man is confessing to police he's the one who raped her. Good evening, I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Ohio's Attorney General cast doubt on the case before the news of the arrest broke. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills pushed for a response and got one just two hours ago. What's the update, Lindsay? Andrew and Yolanda, Attorney General Dave Yost calls the suspected rapist a monster, and he says he's glad Columbus police did their jobs to take him off the streets. However, that's a different tone than what was said earlier this week. This is 27-year-old Gerson Fuentes, who Columbus police detectives say admitted to raping a 10-year-old girl twice. Police say it's unclear if that's his real name. He was arraigned this morning in Franklin County Municipal Court, charged with one count of rape. Detectives today testified about the case they are investigating. She indicated that her 10-year-old daughter was pregnant. At the time, was the daughter still pregnant? Yes. Is that daughter still pregnant today? No. Columbus police say that 10-year-old girl traveled to Indianapolis for an abortion. The consultation was initiated on June 29th. I believe the procedure was initiated on the 30th. Products of conception were picked up on the 2nd of July. Even without an arrest, the case made national headlines. Earlier this week, Attorney General Dave Yost questioned the legitimacy of the case. A police report was filed. Not a whisper. Do you believe you cast a doubt too early when the investigation hadn't yet wrapped up? Not at all. I was casting doubt upon the single source story in the Indianapolis Star by a known political activist. Um, it just didn't feel right. And when a week and more went by and even the Washington Post was starting to question the veracity of it, um, I, I saw the same things. But there was another claim. This young girl, if she exists and if this horrible thing actually happened to her, breaks my heart to think about it, she did not have to leave Ohio to find treatment. According to Ohio law, it would be up to a medical provider to determine whether a patient meets one of the two exceptions. The exceptions do not include rape. Your final comment in that Fox News interview was that you believed the abortion could have been done here in Ohio. Why Why did you believe that? Well, it may have been able to be. There is an exception in the law, both for the life of the mother and for a medical and emergency, which are, are, are defined terms. So w that's a question of fact, ultimately, and without knowing the identity uh, or the medical history or the condition uh, of the victim, the survivor uh, of this horrible crime, you can't really say for sure. Now, the connection between Fuentes and the 10-year-old is unclear tonight. Fuentes is being held on a $2 million bond. Andrew? Lindsay, thank you.